Hello fellow simmers and welcome to this tutorial from Flight Sim Productions. Today we're taking a look at a curveball that Orbix FTX Global Vector throws at us every once in a while and that has to do with the airport elevation corrections tool that's built in within it. Now every time you add an airport or remove an airport or update an airport you're supposed to run this auto activation configuration tool and for the most part, it's rather accurate, but sometimes you have to go in there and do it manually, and it's a rather simple fix, and I'm going to show you how to do it. This is what you may expect if your airport elevation is way off. Not only do you land in the ground, you land below the ground. So to fix this, all we're going to do is hop on over to our FTX Central. We're going to click on the settings tab. We're going to scroll down until we see configure FTX global vector. Click on configure. Click on the airport elevation tab. Manually type in the airport that we want to move over. Select it. Hit the disable tab there. Click apply. OK. Exit. And we can minimize that. Now the next time that we land here in Austin we should be looking pretty good and be above ground instead of below ground. This fix can be used towards FSX or prepared 3D. One of those it's actually kind of nice you can use it towards either one. Now as we're getting ready to land here we hope to stay above ground and not below it and we are down and we're looking good Reverse thrusters are on. And there you go. That is the quick fix. And it's rather simple. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash flight sim productions. Also a word of note, sometimes FS Dream Team has some issues. And this is uh, definitely a good little tutorial to keep in mind. Until next time, this is Flight Sim Productions. Keep your head in the clouds.